Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Welcome back to our stream. I hope you all are having a good day so far. Uh, I myself am, my name's Hung, and I, today I have Aaron with me. Um, Aaron, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing good, Hung. How yeah. about yourself? I'm doing good. I'm all doing right. good. It's a good Thursday. Yeah. We got some cool toys that we're going to be talking about today. I'm excited. Uh, yeah. I'm very are excited. You? I yeah. am. Okay, I am. good, good. <laughs> So um, if you don't know, or if you haven't been watching our stream, uh, my name is Hung. I am the technical director and product specialist for Harvey Industries. And Aaron, do you want to introduce yourself uh, real quick? Me, myself, I'm the shipping manager here at Harvey Industries. So for all, all you customers who purchase things, me along with some of my other team members, we make sure that you get your order fast, perfect, and you know, in great shape. So yeah, that's what I do here. Cool. <laughs> um, Again, I thank you very much for you know, tuning into our stream and watching our stream. Uh, if you haven't done so, please like our videos, subscribe to our channel. Please. Harvey Industries International or INTL is our you know, channel. Um, what we plan or try to do with our stream is always to educate people on not only just our tools, but woodworking tricks and, and tips and so forth. Yeah. Um, and again, build a, a community where we can, you know, teach and learn from each other so yeah. you know like you know yeah I like me myself like yourself because, yeah because yeah, i'm you know i'm interested in a lot of this stuff but i know nothing about it exactly but thanks to you hung and these thursday well, thank you classes that we have which i like to call this it is, uh, well i'm glad to hear yeah, that course, you know this yeah. is definitely helpful um so let's kind of uh kind of outline or like go through what we're going to be talking about today I, let's let's grab the actual product mm -hmm. and let's nice. kind of show everyone what we're doing well so this is, if you haven't seen these before, this these is our pencil precision. Beautiful, right? I mean, since we are having class today on this, of course we'll need pencils, right? Yeah, well, yeah of course. <laughs> We're going to need some pencils to, need pencils. to you know, take notes and you know, write everything down and learn. Yeah. You know? So get, you know, get your pencils ready. If you haven't seen or if you don't have a pencil handy, we're going to be making pencils. So yeah. um, let's jump into this. Um, let's start by... Like kind of, I guess, what do you want to know, I guess, well, uh, Aaron? Well, for me, because um, as long as I've been here, this is one of the one of the tools that I've had my eye on. Um, let's just start by how this even came about. Oh, okay. I know it's a good story yeah, behind that, this that, one. That there is definitely a very good question or a good history and background Talk to, to the pencil precision and Bridge City and how Bridge City and you know Harvey relates to each other or yeah. how the two company became you know, one. Right. Um, so the story is, if, if you're not familiar, and if, you ha if you've been seeing all of our posts and shorts and live streams, you know, thus far, you know, Harvey and Bridge City are two companies that merged together and became one in right. 2018. Yeah. Um, the how Bridge City even started was because of a specific tool that we made for, Harvey made for Bridge City called okay. the Chopstick Master. I don't know if you're familiar. You've uh, probably I seen am. it a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool, pretty yeah. dope. Um, and Chopstick Master is a jig that makes chopsticks. Right. Um, John, again, made this specific tool for a show in, you know, in Asia. And they oh, nice. brought it to Asia. They made, you know, again, did a demos and did a show. Everyone loved it. So they, Harvey made the Chopstick Master okay. for the, you know, for Bridge City. Nice. Um, and that's how the collaboration between the two companies started. Um, because of you know John loving to make these you know little neat tools, yeah. Um, he loves again. He if you don't know anything about John, John is a you know instructor at one point. Okay. Before he became a tool maker. Right. Um, and so he loves again teaching. So pencil is again like you said yeah. is something that you know is very useful when it comes to teaching. Yeah. You always have to have pencils. Right. Um, everyone could use pencils realistically. Yeah. Um, so. Around, let's say, I think the, the original concept kind of started around like 2016, 2017. Okay. Um, John was, again, going and talking to his lawyers, his patent lawyers, about the Chopstick Master and so forth. And so, you know, someone commented and was like, hey, what's next? You know, are we yeah. making like pencils or something? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. That took is what started, yeah that's, that's exactly dope. what started the idea. Yeah. John was like, hey, you know, again, everyone needs pencil and this is a of fun course. idea. So why not? Nice. And that is what started the pencil precision idea. Okay. Um, if you want to see the full story or read more about it, go on to bridgecitytools.com. Go to the top, you'll see a section called John's blog that'll take you to John's blog and you can okay. type in pencil precision and you'll yeah. probably see all the posts that John made over the years. He uh -huh. updated customers and so forth. 
And this was a project that, again, from starting from 2017, his initial concept, yeah. all the way to you know when we even took over. Um, this was an idea that was running for a very long time. Yeah. A lot of customers, you know, supported the idea, and so John, you know, again, it took for quite a while for this to even happen, and then we yeah. introduced it. So we and made going. pencil precision. Yeah. Kept it going. Yeah. yeah. So nice. that's kind of what the history or the story of you know pencil precision and right. how it came about. That's awesome. So, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Also, Hung, I'm wondering. Um, I've never seen anything like this before um you know i've looked at it a couple of times here and yeah. even like online or any other type of place i've never seen anybody with this specific tool oh yeah no so this is this pencil precision jig and we'll unbox it in a little bit to show everyone um is kind of unique and one of the it's kind like you'll right. you know there's no machine really necessary it's yeah. all in what you see in this box here yeah um it's a very neat tool and i again i'll show you how to use it and how to make pencils today so, so we're making like yeah, we're full actually make, we're pencils. making full pencils yep all right so we'll start from kind of beginning to end so okay yeah um i let's see i see there's a comment that came in from steven he says, what's up? Just received my alpha table saw last week. Your packaging is fantastic and very methodical. Shout out to Steve. <laughs> hey, man, appreciate you, man. We work hard for you to get your stuff, man. We want it to be picture perfect when you receive it. So good job, Aaron. Your right, team man. is Being definitely a team, yeah, doing we try. a good job. We try. <laughs> good job. <laughs> cool. good. Thank you for the shout out, Steven. Um, so let's kind of jump in and let's start unboxing it, yeah? yeah let's kind of show everyone what is inside this packaging. So. I'm going to unbox this, and if we look, Whoa. this is the pencil precision. Wow. So, All right, so we got we, a bunch of stuff here. Setting aside, you know, this is our little, you know, instruction manual, so we'll just set that aside right. for a second. Um, let's start with the uh, basic jig, yeah? Okay. So this one specifically, we'll start off with this one. This is a basically a clamp system okay. used to hold the blank and profile the blank. So this is a jig specifically for that. Right. I'll set this aside here for now. Or actually, yeah, um, uh, let's set it over there. Okay. And then this is a special, if you've seen this, this is very similar to our uh, HPA. It, look, it looks exactly uh, like the block plane, yeah, right? Yeah, the, the mini, mini block, block plane. Correct. If you've ever seen this, this is our HP8 mini block plane. Okay. But what we did is we actually made it a little different on the pencil precision. So if you make a pencil, you got to remember there's a piece of lead that we need to install. Right. So this is a groove that allows you to cut that ah, channel okay. to install your lead. So a very unique. It's not so exactly this specifically like, for correct. this. Correct. So don't try to go playing anything else with it. Exactly. Is what don't use this to as an HPA right. or like a little mini block plane because okay. this one will specifically make a groove into yeah. your into your piece of wood. Nice. Yep. So we'll set that on the side real okay. quick. Um, this jig right here, so this big one right here, Ooh. is for making the profile. So once you have your pencil glued up, this is actually to make and shape the pencils. And there's That's, a couple shapes that okay. the, this jig can actually make. So we'll kind of dive into that once we so get to So this is point. the most important piece? Correct. This is probably the most important okay. piece. So this is where we get our pencil going. Correct. This okay. is the most exciting part of the whole pencil nice. process. Um, of course, you know, the kit will come with, you know, little tools, screws to hold everything down, little okay. tools in case you need to make any adjustments or set anything. All right. And I'll all show right. you that in a bit. Um, of course, you always have to have blanks and yeah. lead. So if you open this up, there's blanks. So these blanks are cut like so, a rectangular uh, shape. There's okay. a specific size. So we'll kind of cover that once we get into it. Okay. You got your lead. Got your lead. Yep. Okay. So I can already see the pencil happening already. Yeah. Okay. This is your, I'm starting you know, to see at the it. end of the pencil, <laughs> we have something called a ferrule. Okay. So ferrules are installed at the end to hold your erasers. Right. Yeah. So that's the leads. If you can set that aside yes, for me. Sir. Yes, sir. Um, let's talk about this. So this, remember that little die kit that I showed, uh, that die jig that I just okay. showed you there? The pencil maker mm -hmm. itself. That's to make the profiles, and these are the actual profiles. Nice. So we got three different uh, profiles here. Okay. A uh, round, a bead. Okay. Which is kind of like a flower looking shape. Yeah, I can actually see the flower looking shape. And then a rouleau, which is a, tri a triangle shape, but the edges are rounded off. You see that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. So we got so three different shapes here correct. for our pencil. Okay. And this is, you know, they have each of them has a three different size except for this one. And I'll cover that once we get to that point. Okay. So let's set that aside for a second. 
of course, you know, what every good pencil needs a good a sharpener. sharpener. Of course, so, yep, of course. Always of course. have to have a sharpener. Nice. Set that aside for me, please. Pretty heavy sharpener, yeah. too. Yeah, it's a nice one. Um, the other thing is this piece specifically here. So once you make your two your pencil blanks, okay. you have to glue it. So this is actually acts as a clamp to hold the pencil and allow it to dry. I'll show you that process once yes. we start uh, Yeah, we got it. a bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, huh? All yeah. Right. we got a lot of pieces here. <laughs> yeah. And last but not least, this is actually part of the jig to make, to one, set up your plane. Okay. Two, to actually pay, uh, make the ferrule or install the ferrule. So okay. a couple things happening on here. So I'll set this aside real quick. All right. And let's get this box out of the way. So let's kind of right. get started. Let me set this to the side here. Yep, if you could, please. So, right. um, what? Any questions so far? You know, like what? Oh, uh, okay. So, man, um, it's just so much stuff right here. I don't know where to start. <laughs> like I said, I'm, um, this is something I have been looking at. Um, where should we start at? Um, I guess we can start with the blanks, maybe. So okay. I'm assuming this is what we'll need first. Yeah. So these are the blanks, um, and let's kind of like talk about the pencil precision. Um, and for anyone out there watching, by the way. We are running a promo, so if you do want to pick up one of these, like Aaron, if you do want to pick that, these do. up, definitely check out our website right now, Heart, okay. uh, bridgecitytools.com. We are running a promo for the stream today, all the way till midnight. Yeah. The, we'll put the stream code and everything in the chat for you guys, but it's going to be $100 off. The code will be Pencil Precision. Um, again, we'll drop the links, we'll put the code into the chat. Uh, you have only today till midnight to pick up a pencil precision you'll get a hundred dollars off nice. of whatever the price may be right now on our website so oh, aaron if you want yeah, to pick up one up man i may check to, it out on my yeah, lunch break man. They, yeah definitely something <laughs> to take a look at um i see yeah. that we have two questions so before questions. we start yeah let's kind of let's look at some of the questions that just came All in right. um one so two questions one about sharpening the blade and one about the types of lead um I think we're having a little, there it is, little technical issues here. Okay, I see. It says, the kit is very exciting as they look like the exclusive black wing pencils. Can you put different softness and hardness of lead? Uh, yes. So the leads themselves are, so the lead is very specific in size or at yeah. least in the diameter. Okay. So if you took a look at one of these leads, these leads specifically are two millimeters in diameter. Okay. And the length itself is 165 millimeter. Okay. So that's a very specific size lead. And even the blanks themselves are a very specific size them as well. Yeah. Um, 4.3 millimeters by 9.25 millimeters by length, which is 170. Uh, very, very specific. Very, very yeah. specific. <laughs> if you're cutting blanks, you know, you'll you can get it pretty close. Yeah. But the one critical part will be the length. Right. And maybe the width. So as long as you can get those correct, then they'll fit the jig right. and to hold everything down correctly. The thickness itself can vary a little bit because it will plane we'll it down anyways. It down. Okay. But yeah, length and width will be very crucial. And I'll yeah. show you in a bit once we get to that point. Okay. Yeah. Got me um, excited. Now. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, what else do we have? So I want to know about honing and sharpening after multiple uses. How can we do that? Okay. That's so good. the let's we'll kind of dive into it or kind of tell how to do it again. Okay. Uh, could you grab me those dies for a second? Yes, yep. Okay. So here. I'll explain this as we get into the, the that part or this process. But to answer the question, by the way, thank you. Uh, oh wow! Whoa. How do you Smooski. Smooski. Yeah. <laughs> Smooski. Thank you very much for that question. Um, this plane specifically is a so let's take the iron out and i'll show you so this iron has a bevel side okay. like so and when you sharpen a you know an iron you flip it upside down and you'll sharpen with the bevel side facing downwards okay so be careful not to you know set the angle correctly because if you don't either one you'll damage the groove or the little piece on here right. specifically and if you don't set the angle correctly or the bevel angle correctly, right. then you won't get a good, you know. It's going to mess your whole angle through. up, mm -hmm. right? Correctly. Yeah, gotcha. And for this one, so these dies, over time, you do need to sharpen them. Yeah. Uh, use a half inch chuck, actually, like a drill chuck. Yeah. Grab a drill, grab onto the, the shaft part, find the bevel. So use like a flat 
stone. Okay. And you'll, what you'll do is you'll find the, the bevel or the, the angle of this. Okay. Run your drill and put that flat stone or sharpening block up against this, and it'll sharpen or resharpen this. Ah, okay. Use 5,000 or 8,000 grit specifically because yeah. you're trying to hone it. You're not actually trying to sharpen, sharpen it. Yes. Yeah. So you're realistically just going through and polishing smoothing and it out. smoothing it out and yeah. getting a nice sharp edge that back on sense. it. That makes so, sense. So yeah, don't do it too much because then you'll remove too much material and wear out the die, you know, prematurely. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I hope that answers that question. Nice. So yeah, let me put this back in there real quick. Uh, any other questions, I guess, Aaron? What do you want to know? What? Um, another question is, well, so you already kind of got me started on what I need first. Um, this thing. Ah, okay. I was looking at this. Um, I do like the color of it. I it's, see the difference. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I see the, the holes up here. There's a I lot of things going on. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of things going uh, on What is here. that specifically for? Okay, so let's unbox this pencil sharpener. And let me, if you can do that for me while I explain this first part. Yeah. Um, this Hence, this plane has on the side these black skids. These are depth skids, so this controls the height. So if you're loosen this up, you'll set it, and you use the bottom side of this purple jig to actually set the, the correct height of okay. the depth skid. So I do have off to my side one that I already set up. So if you loosen the screws and you set them, let them drop down, what you should see is that it sits like so onto okay. the jig. Fits perfectly in what mm -hmm. it looks like. Once you have it set up correctly, tighten these screws back up. Okay. And that's how you can set the, the correct height okay. for your plane. So this obviously should be the first thing I that should do That is definitely the very first thing you should before do. Before even trying to pull out the blanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. This jig also has a little slot. So if you do put it away or you kind of like have it on display, this is actually a sharpener holder. Ah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> if you have the pencil already made, so during the process, you'll have to score. So this knife, this is like a scoring knife. It'll okay. score to allow you to cut out the tenon for the ferrules to be installed. Um, I know we've talked briefly about tenons and mortises yeah, and yeah. so forth, but I'll show you that part once we get to that, which is very like the end process of the whole pencil oh, making. The pencil? making. Mm -hmm. Got you. So let's set this one aside. I already have a you know an iron that's already kind of set up. Okay. Uh, I see there is another question that just came in from Angled TV. Uh, can you make things other than pencils with it? Mm. Uh, realistically, you pencils is the only thing this was that intended to be used for. Yeah. Um, I guess you could profile things down. So if you you know glued it up and had it into a hexagon shape, yeah. you could use this pen this blank to make dowels of profile shape so right again a specific size of course yeah but yeah just yeah, could. make different shapes it could. Uh, maybe yeah. not a pencil but not uh, a pencil but it could something. yeah it would be a dowel <laughs> i don't know why you would need a profile dowel but um <laughs> that's definitely something you could do but yeah. again intention here was to make pencils and right uh i know we also offer accessories if you not only do we make you know pencils with you know black lead yeah we also make color leads as well nice. so Yellow, green, and red is what we also offer oh. for our accessories wise. So that's so something not, to consider oh. if you want to make color pencils. Yeah, so yeah. not only pencils, you get color pencils as well. Yes. That's dope. Yeah. I like it. Okay, so um, let's kind of dive in. And oh, yeah, Angle the TV, thank you very much for thank that you. question. Thank, thank you. you. Um, let's kind of start setting up or kind of showing like how we okay. we kind of already got started or kind of talked about so that. So we got but this tuned at yeah. the depth of what it should so be. So this one, like I mentioned, it, you flip this over, yeah. you set the depth, and make sure you tighten the, the screws up so that okay. the skid has a correct height. All right, so yeah. out of all of this over here, what do I need next, huh? Okay, Show me so, what's next. Yeah, so let's kind of, let me kind of divide up the, what we all, you know, that cluster of stuff that yes. we just received. Yeah, because my um, mind is just like. There's too many things going on here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so process wise, I'm going to start setting all these aside real quick. So, of course, we always have to have our blinks, yeah. erasers. I'm going to take the erasers and the ferrules and set those aside because this is a process that kind of goes last. Okay. Um, the blanks and the lead kind of happens at the beginning. Okay. So if you what can grab need? me that jig right this there. This bad boy yep. right here. All right. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we have to profile or cut the, the groove so that we can install the lead. Okay. So this is usually the very first step is, you know, set up your plane and okay. then you'll use the blanks to 
profile it. Okay. Once you have your blanks kind of set up or correctly already, you'll glue. So the next part is glue up. So grab me those two orange pieces Bam. that you see there. Yep. Th these two knobs. Uh huh. Correct. All so right. this is once you have your two halves, you do a glue up. I good thing I kind of prepped some ahead of time because the glue up process will be kind of like this, where you grab two blanks. Once you have two blanks, you put your lead inside, okay. apply some glue, and then you glue it together. And you'll use this to hold it. Nice. I can already kind of see the shape yeah, of that one so already. Have that's a, that's yeah. pretty cool. So that will be part of the glue up process. Okay. And this actual jig here is a, has a clamp, so you can also use this to clamp your pencil. Ah, for holding it. To hold it and let the, the glue, glue dry. Nice. Correct. Okay. So that's that's part kind of part one. All right, one. we're getting somewhere. Yeah. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Once your <laughs> once your pencil. So I have an, a couple of our like blanks kind of made, or just so that you know we don't have to wait for the glue to dry. Yeah. Once you have your pencil, you have to start profiling. So what you see here is a hexagon shape. So a six sided you know pencil. Right. Um, this is one shape, but we can also make other shapes. So we like I mentioned earlier, we have the. And, and so the, I'm sorry. Um, so this shape, um, not to cut you off. Um, how do I even get this shape? Oh, so the how to get this shape is on this specific jig. Okay. So again, we'll we'll get to this part and I'll show you that right. in a moment. All right. I'm um, eager. I'm yeah, eager. Yeah. <laughs> Once we have this, we need to if we do want to use or make other shapes, so the round, the beaded, or the rouleau shapes. Okay. We would need that big this jig thing. right there. Mm-hmm. Bring that over uh, to me, please. This is the next part to make that profile. So we would set these dies in here, these uh, slots right here. Okay. We'll set the dies in there and we'll basically put the pencil in and push it through to cut these profiles. Nice. Yeah. So this is my main entree right here. Yes, this gotcha. is the main course here. <laughs> and then last is this. So once you have the shape made, you'll go through and you'll score a line to and then chip off the wood at the end of it so that you can attach your pencil. So if you did it correctly, it should ah. look something like this. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. I actually yeah. like that. Yeah. And I can see the designs on it. So what actual design is this? I know we have three of ah, them. Okay, yeah. So out going, of the three? Yeah, going back to that, uh, this would be the beaded uh, design, the, okay. the flower looking shape, the one with petals, basically. Okay, I like that one. I think yeah. I want to do that one. Okay, we'll do that <laughs> I one. I think I want to do okay. that one. Um, so let's kind of see if there's any other questions that came in real quick before we start. Um, this is coming in from a question from the, the dude. dude. Okay. <laughs> any wood glue should work? Uh, is there a specific glue that we should, st or any glues we should stay away from? Okay, well, um, that's a very good question. Yeah, that is. Um, we specifically use, in this case, a quick gl uh, drying glue. Uh, this one takes about maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes to kind of dry. Okay. So if we're trying to glue stuff up real quick, we yeah. use this, this would work. Uh, wood glue is usually what I would recommend because yeah. wood glue will take a little bit more time to dry. Okay. But once it dries, you know, it can be uh, safe to use. So them. for sure, just use wood glue for Yeah, wood glue this. is the most general recommendation. Uh, yeah. But if you are in a pinch, you can use like quick drying glue. Even like CA glue or super glue could yeah. help. Um, but yeah, wood okay. glue is probably the best. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, any other questions? Let's take a look here. Who we got uh, coming in? So, oh, there's a question that came in from before the stream. Uh, we were taking some questions and they said, let's see, are there any woods that should be avoided and for what reason? Ah, so that is a very good question, yeah. by the way. Uh, the, the kit that we have here, so uh -huh. this wood specifically is poplar. Okay. It's a, very, it's a soft wood where the green pattern is very uniform, so the, the green flows in a linear. Yeah. It's not all you don't over see the a place. bunch of different designs exactly. on the wood. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got so you. when we cut, it's a, soup, it's a soft wood, it's easier to plane. It, all the grain kind of runs in a certain way, so yeah. it's easy to work with. Easy to work with. Um, okay. Most pencils, by the way, are made from cedar, so cedar is another good one. Uh, cedar is okay. a little more durable. It's a little harder than poplar, yeah. so you can actually get away with using that. Um, kind of avoid using like a hardwood. It, one, it's expensive. Yeah. Two, some of the exotic or like more harder woods have grain patterns that could be a little uncontrollable. Yeah. So when you're planing it down, it might be too... Might not come out how you might, want it. Yeah, exactly. It might gotcha. be too messy. Um, so softwood. Softwood, preferably something that's easier to use. Um, 
you want the grain patterns to run a certain way, so don't not all over the place. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that would be realistically what you would be looking for. Again, what we use here is poplar. Poplar. So, okay. Great question. Uh, let's see. Any uh, other questions that we have? Ah, okay. So how can I, this is another question that came in from before the stream. How can I customize a pencil after creating it? Huh. Ah. Oh, yeah, because so, yeah, this yeah, is so pretty like, much all we get after. Yeah, once we're finished, we got a pencil that looks kind of like this, but okay. nothing else to it. Right. During the process, so once you have your blanks like this, okay. or profile it, you can actually paint it as well. Nice. So if you use like a you know a paintbrush or or whatever it may be. Yeah. This arm on this jig actually allows you to hold your pencils stationary so that you can paint it. So oh, and it locks yeah. it in right there. So you That's push this up cool. like this, you can hold the pencil blank like so, yeah. and I can go through with a paintbrush or a paint marker and yeah. paint this pencil. And mm. this allows me to hold it and let it dry. While I that's make, pretty cool yeah. and then even for like the i'm pretty sure like people who are like way more into this you could probably carve your name into yeah, it you can it like initial like it you can yeah. kind of make you know customize your pencils so that's something that that's you can cool. do so that that is a uh, very good question something you can do if you would like so it actually has something set up in it for you to yeah. decorate or and, customize your pencil and as you kind of see this everything you see here is yeah. everything you need to make a pencil you don't need, you know, any machinery no or anything like that. Tools, no power tools. No power tools. electricity. Exactly. All handheld. And, be and because of that, that's cool. And the reason why John made this jig specifically is yeah. because he likes to teach like kids how to get into woodworking. So, like the chopstick right. master, there's no tools like power tools or anything like dangerous yeah. that could, you know, again hurt you or yeah. someone who's learning how to do woodworking. This is something you That's can quickly cool. set up and show kids how so to make. So not only fun, it's safe as well. It, yeah, fun, <laughs> educational, just like in our stream. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so let's kind of uh, see if there is anything else. Uh, oh, let's uh, talk about the dies and the rouleaus, uh, the different profiles of the dies. Because okay. if you see, there's three of the circular one, right. two of the beaded ones. And I see three of the other. And three of the rouleaux, okay. yeah. So why is that? Do you know? Um, I'm going to assume, just by looking at it, um, I'm just going to assume maybe a one, two, three type deal? Um, a you, beginning, middle, You end? are correct. Okay. So okay. <laughs> the one, two, and three, exactly what you mentioned, okay. is the, the one being the largest, two being a medium size, okay. and then three being the smallest hole. So when you are pushing the pencil through this die, you start from a large your hexagon shape, You'll go through the number one die, the largest one, to cut it to a circular size of that specific width or okay. diameter. And then from there, it goes into the number two die, and it cuts it a little smaller. And then number three is the smallest, which is the end result of how big your pencil will come out so to be. So the third one would be which of the pencil final should size, be. or uh. thick, uh, in this case, the diameter or the correct thickness of the pencil. Okay, yep. that makes sense. Uh, for mean, the, and so to answer the next question, I think you'll probably have is. Why do we only have yep. two? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. My yeah, mind. I like mind. it. Yep, yep, right. yep. Yes. So um, you have to remember on the beaded, it's very similar to the round. Okay. So use the number one round die to set up the initial net first step. So you'd use the number one round. Okay. The number two, the beaded set, and then the number three beaded one. So round bead bead. Okay. Like so. And round when, bead bead. Yep. I'll try to remember that. And <laughs> like you mentioned, you wanted to use the bead set. So let's yeah. kind of like, let's set these aside. I'm going to grab these and I'll put these back. And okay. let's kind of get into it and start showing how to do pencils. Yeah, come quick. on. Let's yeah. get to the good stuff. Um, <laughs> so if, oh, that's, that's, a, that's a very good, uh, so if anyone, uh, buys the pencil precision kit and you guys again make pencils with your kids or if you're doing this and you know learning how to make pencils yeah. please show us your creation um, yeah yeah that'll be pretty making cool. initials you know like yeah. let us know like post that on our instagram tag um tag us harvey industries intl is our handle uh, we'd love to share and see what you guys make. Yeah, so, and we can yeah. probably even get them on our story. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. man, send them in. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> send them in. Um, we'd love to see them. 
uh, again, this is a community that we hope to build, and this is something to get people, or even the younger audience, yeah. you know, or someone like yourself, you know, uh, who have very little woodworking knowledge to get yeah, into Yeah, uh, I'm so, ready to dive in. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's start kind of diving in, and let's kind of set this up. All right. Um, so we're going to set these aside for now, because yeah. this is not the first step. Yeah. This is the later step. That's step four, yep. five, six, Correct. Right? Let's start with step one. I'm going to get right. this out of the way. Okay. This is pretty cool. So... <laughs> I will give you this one. All right. So the way we use this jig, this is a clamp and a jig to hold the blanks in place. You would, this is a little stop, so you can put this up against a table edge like so, okay. so that it doesn't move around. Okay. Grab a blank. All right. Like so. I'll set that aside. Okay. Okay, so grab, yep, exactly that. So I'm assuming that. this goes here. Correct. All right. So get that in there. And then make sure it's nice and flat. Okay. And then clamp this down. So this is a clamp. You tighten that up, and it'll basically push that blank up against this side. So now I know and my blank is not going correct. anywhere. Correct. Don't over tighten it because then the blank could again bend. This is a soft wood, so okay. you don't want to overdo it. Got you. When you set the iron, so this is a uh, a good thing to kind of talk about since we get to this point. Yeah. Make sure your iron uh, depth is protruding off the bottom and barely making you know a a cut. So if you're running your fingers below here, you should feel the iron or the, the, the blade yeah. kind of protruding, but not too much. Okay. And you might want to start off shallow. So when you start cutting, you'll see that this uh, lead or the indentation okay. that cuts the grooves yeah. will start to cut the channel, but you also want to kind of flatten this down as well. So le kind of level it out. Okay. And how you determine that this is correct, meaning the correct thickness, it, once you take this out, and you start doing the next portion, which is profiling into a hex shape. Okay. If the blank itself doesn't fit into this slot here, so I'm gonna show you quick. Okay. So what we're once we have two halves, right. we're gonna install it. And if the blank itself doesn't fit into this slot right like so. That means you're doing something wrong. Then the depth of the iron wasn't deep enough. It was wasn't cutting as it should. As it then. should. Okay. So we'll go back, take the blank back out, lay it back on the clamp, and just advance the iron just a little bit more, yeah. plane a little more, and just check it one more time. So keep going until it until fits it right fits into those right slots. There. And that's okay. how you know that your iron's set up correctly. At that point, if yeah. it starts to fit in the slot, this is how you can tell okay. it is correct. Gotcha. And that's usually when you set this up for the first time, you'll have to do it, you know, a couple right. tries just to make sure everything's set up. Okay. In this specific case, we already have this. You one already got me set yep. up to go. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm talking about, huh? Correct. So let's kind of get this these out if you can. Let's yeah. get that blank back in there, All right, so and let's see. start making pencils. You say um, right here in the middle. Well, he's doing that. Let's kind of talk about the HP eight or this plane specifically, the PP one okay. plane. Um, this pencil plane. Uh, has, like I mentioned, a groove in the middle. Yeah. So, again, don't use this for other tasks unless you are unless planning you want to that cut line that line or that groove. Yeah. Right. The sides here are depth skid, so this controls the height. So when I'm planing on this jig, uh, as soon as it stops cutting, that's when I know that the pencil is cut at the correct depth. Okay. And as I mentioned earlier in the stream, we use this jig to determine the correct height that we should set right. this plane at. So if, if you did everything correctly, it should sit nice and okay, like so. And make sure you know it's even. There's no everything's all set correctly. Make sure everything's tight. Yeah. Again, use the the little Allen or hex keys to make sure you adjust those. Okay. Yep. Nice. Like you did earlier, you put the blanks in here. Make sure yep. it's nice and flat. Clamp it in. Clamp Don't it overdo in. it because you could. Don't want to break your break yeah. break or bend the the blanks. Got so you. with the plane, you can rest it on here and make sure the iron sits right at the end of the blank okay. and push forward and you'll start to feel that the, the plane okay. iron starts to cut uh, like so. If it okay. feels a little rough, that might be that you're going against the grain. Okay. So if that's the case, then you can flip the plane over as well and go the other way. So you can either push or okay. pull. So that was a little rough, so you're yeah. saying maybe I should come back and try that it this way. way. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing this, uh, a good trick or a good tip is if you're doing this with this, in this case, poplar, um, take a look at the grain pattern and determine which way the grain is going. Because if you can get the wood 
go with the wood grain and not against the grain, yeah. it'll make your You won't get stuff like I'm correct. doing right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if you can, you know, if, you, if you're doing this with like, let's say your kids or whoever it may be, um, go and mark the grain pattern so that you know which way. Because when you glue up the two halves, you want to make sure the grain pattern kind of follows each other as well. Right. Yeah. So something to consider. If okay. that's a good trick or a good tip to for anyone who's making yeah. pencils. So, so you were time. right though, because now I'm doing it this way. It's going. It's a uh, lot easier. Way right? lot smoother. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, cutting like butter, man. Yeah. yeah. So basically, again, because the depth is already preset. Okay. Now we just keep cutting until it stops cutting. All so right. once you feel that the iron or the plane isn't removing any more material, let me okay. know. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, it's just a process of going back and forth and okay. removing material. It will remove and cut a little indentation into okay. that wood so that we can do the glue up. So let's kind of go there. Okay. And uh, what do you think? What are you what are you thinking? Uh this this let's let me see. Mm. All right, let's check it out. I okay. think I may be cool. So let's see what we got going yeah. on. Yeah. I'll loosen the clamp. Okay. I'll take the blank out. And if this was done correctly, like I mentioned earlier, it should fit into those fit slots right into there. the slot. Okay. Just like oop, and as you can see here, it's a okay. little too uh, still a little too okay. thick. So I got some more plane in it. Yep. <laughs> so what I have to do is I'll loosen this right here. Okay. This holds down the iron. So loosen this up. Just push or advance the iron just a little bit and then tighten this back up and just okay. double check again. So what I do is I, at this point, I will clamp it back down and I'll hold it and I'll show you real quick. Okay. And I think because we are backwards. Since I'm going backwards, mm -hmm. you got a plane towards Plane you, towards so. me, right. yep. So I just removed a little bit more material. Okay. And if that is done correctly, I should now be able to. Ah, so I was almost there. Yeah, well, I was there. I was just yeah, almost close, there. Close, close. <laughs> so, okay, now that nice. we have the depth set correctly, Let's do the other blank. Okay. So again, same process. Clamp it in, and uh, right. I'll let you do that. And let's while he's doing that, uh, let's see if there's any more questions. So I might be. Uh, this. this is a question that just came in. Do the blades come pre-sharpened? Uh, this is from DRAM, and DRAM, that is a very good question. Uh, the iron is uh -oh. pre-sharpened, and it should be pretty sharp. Uh, out of the box so if uh, over time you will wear down the iron it is a softwood so it will take a little bit of time for it to actually wear but right. uh, if you ever do need to sharpen it just flip the iron over make sure you don't damage the groove part of the iron and right. hone it don't sharpen it too much because you'll you know prematurely wear down the iron but uh, use like let's say a 1000 to even up to 8000 just to basically put a nice sharp edge back on the iron and that should be good to go. All right, so I'm getting another blank because I think I'm planing ah, either too where you hard. Going? You're probably going against the grain yeah. or, yeah, it looks like you might have gone against the grain. So we'll set that one aside. Nice. Let's try another one real All quick. Right. Let me clamp it in. That's how you know that um, I'm a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to try to make sure I'm going with the grain and yep. not against it. So we'll start. Just like so. Mm -hmm. That right. feels a little smoother. Yeah, that's yeah? more smooth. Okay, right. good. And when you do make your pa push, make sure you go all the way across and cut all the way through the blank. Okay. So push gently. You don't push down too much, by the okay. way. Um, that's what I'm doing, right? That's probably what you're doing here. Too just much force on it? Yeah. So gently just apply little gentle pressure, let okay. the iron, because the iron is sharp, um, let the iron actually do the work here. Yeah. Let it remove the material. I'm working too hard. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't work too hard. Yeah. Yeah. In this case, the iron's very sharp, it'll just remove material yeah. as you apply very little pressure. Like I can be pushing down very little, with yeah. two fingers in this case, and remove material. And it stopped cutting, so I know that I'm right. at the that, correct that's, point. That's so I'll stop there. Okay. I'll take this out. Well, good thing it comes with a lot of blanks. Yeah, <laughs> it does. So you got, you and know, trial and error. It's trial and error <laughs> at the first stage. Yeah, you got to learn. So um, okay. once you have your two blanks made, the two halves, this is where we're going. We're going to install it into this slot that you see on the side of this jig, like okay. so. You want the groove side, the one with the indentation or the little slot that you kind of cut or the little channel, yeah. to sit facing inwards. So make sure okay. that they face inward and not outwards. Because if you face outward, you're going to make the hexagon shape 
on the wrong side ah, of the blank. And there's nowhere to put the lead in. That. Correct. Yeah. Your, le your groove will be facing outwards and not inwards. So okay. always make sure that the grooves or the, the slots are facing inwards on both sides. Okay. Once you get it in there, again, use the clamp to tighten it down and hold it in place. Okay. And again, you use the pl you, you'll use you use the plane to cut it into a hexagon. So right now, if we took this out and look at it, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, if you match up the two halves right now, yeah, you see how it looks like a square like a flat or a square. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a, a square right now. Okay. But we want to be the final piece to look like a hexagon. So this is shaping our pencil into Correct. the hexagon. Correct. This is how we get the hexagon shape ah, to kind of answer nice. your question earlier. Right. Yep. Okay. So I will get this set up for you. I will put it into the jig like so, and I will. Tighten that, and I will let you All right. do this. Again, Let's go. don't push down All too right. hard. Just let the iron and the plane do its work. Nice and slow, and make sure that you make your push all the way all across the way to, to the cut top. all the way to the end. Yep, like uh, that. Exactly. Um, while he's doing that, I will take a, some other questions that might have came in. Ah, so there's a question that came in before the stream. Uh, is it necessary to buy blanks, or can you craft them at home using tools such as like a table saw or a bandsaw? That is a very good question, by the way. Um, if you want to make your own blanks, you can cut your own blanks. Uh, it is a very specific size, like I mentioned earlier in the stream. Very specific. Uh, yeah, very <laughs> specific. Uh, 4.3 millimeters in thickness, 9.25 millimeters in width, and 170 millimeters in length. So a very, very specific size. If you, can, if you have the kit and you have the blank, you know, bring it up and set it up against your fence of, let's say, a table saw, and you can kind of you know, match it up and set everything correctly. Yeah. You, know, you can cut a bunch of these strips and have it ready. Uh, the width itself and the length is what is critical, but the thickness doesn't really matter because you yeah. can actually plane the thickness down. Right. Yep. Nice. So that is to answer that question. You can use a table saw or a bandsaw to cut blanks, or you can buy the blanks. We do sell those as yeah, well. Yeah, and they actually um, come with a lot in there. Mm -hmm. and they come with a, a few. Yeah, so they come in a box like so. Um, we do offer you know your black lead for pencils, or yeah. like one with the color lead as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So those are what we offer there. Um, nice. There is so. We're going to, in a few minutes, we're going to take a quick break just so we can kind of uh, set up and take a quick breather here. But uh, okay. before we do so, and as we mentioned at the beginning of the stream, we are running a promo on yes. these. So if you are interested in picking up one of these pencil precisions, by the way, we are offering a $100 off using the pencil precision code. And we'll throw that into the chat uh, just so that everyone have has that. Um, Again, from now till midnight. What, midnight today? Yeah, to or get tonight? another hundred dollar off on the pencil precision. So if yeah. you are interested in this, definitely check out our yeah, website. Yeah, uh, go Bridge for City. it. Uh, I'm going for it. Yeah, <laughs> BridgeCityTools.com is our website. Definitely go take a look. Um, we'll drop the links, like I mentioned, into the chats and for everyone to to get access to that. Yeah. Um, let's also let's take a look. Uh, at what you did so far. Okay, so um, I kind of see the shape coming in as far as I planed it. Yep, um, so you, it stopped cutting, yes? Um, it felt like it did, but I think I may be off a little bit. I was going to have you double check sure. my work. Sure, let's, let's take a look. <laughs> no, I'm a rookie, man. So. Yeah, yeah. So we got to learn, yeah. so let's, let's kind of dive in and take a look here. And there's a little bit left, so okay. I can feel a little bit more right there. Okay. And now it stops cutting. Uh, so at that point, that's good. Uh, I'm like a little bit off. You were, uh, yeah, you got close. So we loosen the clamp again. Okay. And we will take these out. And basically, at this point, we still have to flip them over to make the other side, to cut okay. it into a hex. So if you look at it, right now it looks like yeah. so. Kind of looks like a house. Yep. Yeah, a little house shape going. going. A yeah. little roof. Little and roof. Like, nice. Yeah. Okay. But we, we're not quite at the hexagon shape. So I'll kind of clean out the, the jig, make sure it's nice and clean. Okay. I'll get the blanks, I'll flip it over. Again, when I install it, I have to make sure that the grooves are pointing, are inside, not outwards. Right. So get them back inside, like so. Okay. And I'll clamp it up. Clamp it back in. Be gentle, don't overdo the clamp, because yeah. you don't want to bend the wood. All right. And with the plane again, we will go through and plane. And plane some more. That, right. Some more. And we, because we're cutting the edges, 
Um, if you do run where it's, it feels a little rough, in this case, we might be going against the grain. Again, you can flip the iron around or the plane around okay. to cut the other way. So if it Let feels a little rough. A uh, little bit, a little bit. Let me try it this way and see what I got going. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah. Okay, so, so that is something to watch out for. Yeah. Which way? So with hand planes, you always want to cut along or with the grain pattern and not against the grain pattern. Because if you go against the grain, you'll tear the the strands of wood out. As I've easy. been doing. Yeah. <laughs> so always, that's a quick tip for anyone who's never used a hand plane. Yes. Um, so go through and we'll remove a little bit more material and uh, check me out check yeah, me out a I may bit, be a little bit off still again yeah. a little bit there I'm going to clean it up real quick right. and we should take this out and take a look at it if this was done correctly we will get now we got our shape of the hexagon. pencil yeah. ah nice so at this point what you'll do is you'll glue this so okay take the two blanks apply some wood glue right and then grab the lead and install it onto the blank like so. So okay. when you install the, when you place the lead inside, make sure that it sits center. This blank is 170 millimeters, okay. but the lead is only 165. Okay. So make sure it sits center with a little bit of indent on, on each both side. Sides. Correct. Because if you don't do that, once we get to the profiling shape, if the lead is sticking out off one end, you uh, won't be able to hold it correctly. You have okay. to leave a little bit of room on each side for the next part to basically hold the pencil and gotcha. to cut the shape so the profile and when so, i do apply the glue am i doing it just on one side or am i doing both sides if, or? if you apply a little bit of glue like a little bit you can apply on both sides okay. or you can apply a lot on one side and kind of sandwich sandwich the, it together together nice. yeah so once you apply the glue you'll put it together like so you'll let the glue dry and use these to put on each side okay to hold the ends and if this, again, is a clamp. Ah, that's so what you were telling me about I, earlier. Yeah, you can take this, put it into the slot, like so, okay. and then tighten this so that it holds the middle section and allow the glue to fully dry all the way through. And how long did you ends. say about it takes to Depending dry on the glue. Uh, right. Like if you're using a quick drying glue like this one, this yeah. will take about 15, 20 minutes or so to kind of you know dry to a point where you can use it okay um if you're using a wood glue it might take a little bit longer, a little longer. maybe like an hour or 45 minutes or okay. so to kind of dry again a little bit of glue is all you need you don't do too much because then if you do it'll get all over the place and right. it'll create a mess so okay. again be gentle with the glue don't put too much right um so in this case we'll let the glue dry and it'll bring us to you know probably a good point to stop because then i will show you next once we get back okay um that you know how to profile or how to put the shape okay onto the jig and you know cut out that, uh, that little we'll bead to shape. this side over yeah there. okay yeah. okay so yeah, that sounds great. uh we're gonna take a quick break everyone uh Ooh. we will be back in a few minutes and i will see you guys soon yeah and see you guys in a second yeah we'll continue making more pencils and <laughs> if you haven't uh like i mentioned earlier if you guys are interested in picking up this kit by the way uh, we are doing a promo. Uh, go to bridgecitytools.com. We'll drop yeah. the link into the chat. Use the code pencil precision for a $100 off for the jig. So yeah. again, if you're interested in making pencils or you know buying this for a gift for someone, yeah. or just having is, fun or just with having it, fun with it. it. Yeah, fun. this is definitely something that you can <laughs> definitely check out. So uh, the code again is pencil precision. We'll drop it in the chat along with the links, and we're gonna take a quick yeah. break, and, and we'll, we'll be, be back. right back. So cool. cool. See you guys. All right.
All right. Okay, we're back. Oh, let's yeah. All right. Okay, so uh, you might have noticed a quick change of setup here. Yeah. Um, we chalked up the jig for the next step because we will need this to kind of stay in place or you know not move around because we're yeah. going to profile our pencil All or right. make that shape that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, so um, let's it was do the a, beaded shape, right? Yeah, or the, the flower beaded shape? or the flower looking right. shape. Mm -hmm. Cool. So. If this jig, if you take a look, there's actually four holes on here okay. that will allow you to actually cut the or install screws, as I, you see here. Yeah. And I could install this to a you know a piece of wood yeah. or to a table, to a table, whatever it may be. Yeah. Um. So yeah, using a screw, we can actually hold this jig down. So kind of what you see here. Yeah. I have it set up. So let's set this one aside because right. we won't need that. Um. Going doing a quick recap, by the way. Uh, we will start with the pencil lead. Lead, set that aside. Yeah. First step, as we mentioned earlier in the stream, we start, take two the pieces of blanks, yeah. and we use this jig to hold it down yep. and profile it to cut the little grooves on the middle on both pieces. With our special HP8 to install. Over here. Yeah, with our special plane here, <laughs> looks very similar to the HP8, yeah. but it's not. Um, it has a little special groove here for cutting out to install the lead. Okay. Um, once you cut that out, you'll cut, you'll set these two inside, diagonal, like so, yeah. at an angle, right. and they'll profile it down to a hexagon. Yeah. And if you take a, so it should at some point look like so. And so you'll have two pieces that are cut into yeah. a hex if you put them together. Right. Apply some glue, put the lead inside, and glue it up. Clamp you it down. Put this on either end to yeah. hold it in place. Use this to clamp it yeah. and hold the middle section to allow that to dry. Right. Once you have that dried. What's next, huh? Yeah. What's next so after this dry? Once it's dried, Let's take see. it apart. You should have a blank that looks like so. Okay. And we have our lead installed. And like I mentioned earlier, always leave, when you install your lead, make sure it sits in the center right. because it's a little smaller than the, the wood piece. Yeah. So leave a little room on each side so we can put it or you know set it up onto this jig okay. here and push it through to cut our profile. Nice. So we're gonna, again, we have a couple that we made ahead of time just yeah. so that we are, don't have to sit around and wait for the glue to dry, yeah, yeah. you know, so. All right. Okay, let's set this aside real All quick. Right, let's get to and it. <laughs> like you mentioned, uh, you wanted to work with the beaded dies. So yeah. uh, to, you know, again, recap to everyone who didn't tune in or watch the stream at earlier yeah. phases, we have basically four different profiles. If you just use the pencil as is, you have a hex. Right. If you use these, you have a rounded shape. Right. You have the beaded, and then you have a rouleau, which is a triangle shape with the rounded uh, ends or right. the edges yeah. around it. And so, I know you mentioned it was like a, a one, two, three thing. Correct, right? yes. Okay. So uh, you have one being the largest diameter, okay. two being the medium, and yeah. three being the smallest diameter or the final size yeah. or shape of the pencil. Okay. Um, the beaded one, like I mentioned earlier, it only has, has two. two because you'll use the round one as your first shape. Okay. So like you you wanted to do the beaded, so we'll yeah. grab that kit real quick. Nice. We'll take the number one, the number two. Oh, I noticed how it actually has the numbers yeah. on there. Yeah, so okay. these are numbered, by the way. That, if you take a look cool. onto the actual, sh the shank or the, the rounded portion, yeah. these are actually numbered and you will, that's how you determine which one to use. Right. So one, two, and, and three. three. Oh. Yep. Cool. So we will use that. We'll set this aside for a minute, right. please. We will clear up some space. And if we kind of look over to this section, this is our, our kit, our, right. our jig to cut the profile. The main dish. Yes, <laughs> sir. Okay. So number so one is the, lar the biggest one. Okay. So we will loosen these little screws here okay. so that we can install these. And when you install these, you want the, the cone side to be facing towards you or the handle side. Yep. Looking at me. Not the other way around. Okay. Don't face it away, face it towards you. So my pencil will go through the front. Correct. It'll, the pencil will come in and hit the cone part and that's what splits the, ah. the wood to cut that shape. Yeah. So you don't want it the other way because this is not the cutter side. This is okay. the cutter side. So. Got you always that cone or the bevel side facing you. Looking at yep. you. Mm -hmm. All right. And you'll install it in where the flat side is 
down. Okay. So just like so, drop them in and tighten these screws tighten up to hold everything in place. Nice. So the number one goes in, which is the round one. We'll use the number two, which is a beaded shape. Okay, and, and that's where I'm that. starting to get my shape right Correct. There, so we round ah. it off first. We get to the next step, which creates the, the flower shape, but it's okay. still not the final size. So okay. this is the, the mid portion. And the last one is our final actual size or shape. Yeah. Uh huh. And okay. that one just goes into the third slot, like so. And you tighten that up, just like so. Okay. Yeah. All right. It seems all right. We get somewhere. Okay. Almost we're getting there, somewhere. Right? Okay. Right. okay. Earlier in the the when we were making the blanks, you kind of ran into a little bit of an issue where you were yeah. tearing out some of the grain or right. damaging the wood. Yeah. And it was really hard to do so, and it's probably because you were going up against the grain. So meaning the blade of the plane was hitting the grain strands yeah. and pulling it Versus rather than going with it. the other way, which would cut uh, with the grain rather than against the grain. So this okay. is what we kind of saw here, yeah. is that it was starting to be a little rough. It felt kind of different, yeah, and that's did. what happens. Okay. Um, as I recommend to everyone, you know, follow along the grain. If you are looking at the wood, you can kind of feel it or see it, um, but take a look. The grain has a certain pattern. Yeah. If you if it's useful, I would always you know grab a pencil. So a good trick is grab a pencil and kind of mark which way the grain pattern is facing. Yeah. Um, this is very useful because then when you glue two blanks together, you want the patterns to both go together. Okay. And not one going the right. opposite direction. Um, because once you go into this bead you'll or this run dye, back into those same issues. It that might I run into the same yeah. problem. Exactly. Gotcha. Makes sense. Um, so we did mark this out, and when we push this. The, we want the grain, in this case, the arrow or the pattern to be going away from the die cutters. Mm -hmm. gotcha, gotcha. So we'll be pushing it this way. So but it'll be cutting with it going Correct. Mm -hmm. So gotcha. we're not cutting towards it. We're pushing, uh, cutting away from us. Okay. Yeah. So get this, install it into the holder here, right. like so. so we and right remember that part where I mentioned that we have to leave a little bit of an indent at the end. Yeah. If you look at, can you grab that jig for me real quick? Sir. If you look at this jig here, you see how it has a little piece yeah. that points out at the end of the, and the tip right here? And that'll fit right into the that pencil, fits right? into yeah. the ends of the pencil and allow it to hold it to push the ah, pencil. Ah, nice. Yeah, so that's okay. what keeps it in place. Nice. So this crank handle here is what pushes the, the pencil okay. forward. So I will align that little piece up with the jig, yeah. just like so. Yeah, it fits perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And we will start pushing it up like so. Okay. And this one is a block that pushes up against the end ah. and helps prevent the wood from splitting in the case of this wasn't glued or dried correctly. Yeah. If you push, you'll apply force and this could split the wood. So this prevents it from splitting. Right. Okay. So always push this up as a stop. So keep it with the mm -hmm. pencil as you push it through. Correct. Gotcha. And from there, it's just a matter of cranking this handle. Okay. And just keep your hand here to guide it. Okay. And what you, if you look closely, what it's going to start doing is it's going to push. Yeah, I, I can actually see yeah, a little bit yeah. already. Um, so let's get a close up here because this is going to be the part where this is the this is the this magic. Is, this, this is, is the fun part All of right. the whole thing. So if you look closely, okay, you'll see what's going on and. While Aaron here is doing go? this, yeah, right. go for it. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I can see the wood. Yeah, really you see that? Okay. It's starting to cut in a little bit. It's going to the first one. Okay. It, it removes material. And it just it made it to, to the, the first one. one. Mm -hmm. All right. So keep going. All right. Oh, mm -hmm. are we running into? Let's see. There we go. Let me see. Okay, so it looks like it's getting stuck on this die here. And let me see what's causing that. There we go. I can see it's just, just me being a beginner, man. Yeah, <laughs> just be gentle. Um, okay. Just feed it through and be careful. But what you see is that it's starting to push the blank yeah. all the way through, just like so. And I have to make sure I guide this so it doesn't keep the the blank and it seems that what happens is if it gets stuck it's because the blank itself is getting too much or we're pushing too much and it's forcing it 
Right. So we just Versus have to back it up. Yeah, through. just back it up just a little bit and then guide it through. See that? It's yeah. starting to get stuck. So I back it up just a little bit to allow some relief and then continue forward like so. And the shape is actually pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, you see I that? See it. Yeah, that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep going okay. all the way until this goes to the end. I'm making see the that? perfect pencil. You see yeah, that? I Isn't do. that cool? Yeah, it is. Uh. Again, I'm getting a little stuck, so I'm going to back it up just a little bit. Just to allow some relief and then push it forward again. And if this is done correctly, it should go all the way through, just like that. Voila. And voila. You see so that? We have the flower-shaped pencil. Yeah. Uh. So if you look at this, it should be the beaded shape that we were looking yeah. for. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Isn't that cool? It is. Yeah. All right. So now we so, got the flower yeah, shape. Yeah, so we went from what you saw earlier, was it, which is a hexagon shape, right. to now a bead or a flower shape yeah. that has like little petals. Um, and that's what we're, we've done so far. And this jig, like I mentioned earlier, will make different profiles. Yeah. Not only does it make you know, your beaded shapes, it also makes rounds, yeah. and also makes a rouleau, which is the triangle shape. Like a shape. triangle shape, mm -hmm. nice. So, isn't that cool? It is, yeah. um, man, that's pretty awesome, huh? I, I probably for sure wouldn't have made it look this good. You know? <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let's take a quick, let's see if there's any questions from any. Uh, ah, there's a good question. Um, this came in from before the stream. How do I keep the dies and molds sharp or so that it cuts the shape in, of the pencils correctly? Hmm. Uh, do they need to eventually be replaced? I'm interested in making the like a heart shape. Uh, this is coming from... Hmm. Uh, Chewy Pad? Chewy Pad. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Chewy Pad. This is a very good question. Um, to sharpen the jigs, so in the dies, well, let's start with the plane, yeah? Right. The planes, if you're sharpening the iron, let me not play with that one. Let me grab an iron. So if you took the iron out of the plane, the iron itself has a little... Uh, piece of uh, iron that protrudes yeah. to cut your pencil groove. So if you look it, at yeah. the pencil, when you cut the blank, you have a groove right. to install the lead. So when you take that iron out, be careful when you sharpen. You don't want to damage that piece. So yeah, because then you, you'll just be correct. Yeah, then you'll be done. Yeah, then you'll be done. <laughs> you'll have to buy, yeah, <laughs> at that point, you'll have to replace the iron completely. Yeah. But imagine this is my sharpening block. I'm going to flip it over just to kind of show you. OK. You When you sharpen, you want to match the bevel of okay. it and then you'll run it on you know the sharpening block yeah. until you get a nice sharp edge and that's okay. how you would you know kind of maintain the edge of this okay um we aren't trying to sharpen it too much where we're removing material so just hone it so use like a 1000 grit or up to like 8000 just to kind of put a nice sharp edge on it yeah but not sharpen where we're you know removing too much material okay. So that's something to maintain that part. Um, if you are using a, for the, so for the dies, if we're sharpening the dies, uh, use like a drill where it has a half inch chuck. Right. Grab the, the rounded side on, you know, onto the chuck. So put this, grab it like so. Okay. Again, with the drill running, if this is my sharpening stone. Yeah. I'll match the bevel, so the the shape of this cone. Okay. I'll rest up my my sharpening and just have it and run, run it on there. Yeah. And the, basically, what you'll do is you'll be sharpening and re basically reshaping or just putting a sharp edge on this right, right here. Keep it nice. And just to be, keep yeah. it nice and sharp. Again, from in this specific case, maybe like a five thousand to eight thousand grit. This yeah. is a die cutter, so it's very hard metal. Yeah. And you just want to keep it you know honed not really like sharpening where you're reprofiling and then or this too much like material. for people like me who may not know the five thousand eight thousand ah grit, yes okay what is the reference for that yeah yeah so uh, for sanding or sandpaper wise there's different types of grit or coarseness how rough the sandpaper is okay um if you let me see if i can have some sandpaper here ah so if you grab a piece of sandpaper and kind of run your fingers on it okay you feel that that's rough it's a little rough yeah right this is a 400 grit, so it's really rough. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna use this as an example, but if you feel like, let's say this, yeah. this feels a the, little smoother. It's real smooth. Yeah. So the lower the number, so in this case 400, okay. the rougher it is. Ah. The coarse, the, the, the grit will be. Yeah. The higher the number, so 5,000 or 8,000, the smoother or the more got you know, you. polished okay. it will be. Got you, got so you, got you. you'll use a low number to sharpen and a higher number to polish or to put okay. a, in this case, just to polish the edge and put a new sharp edge yeah. onto the dies or the plain iron. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. More information. Yeah, yeah, there you go. See? And this is why we're learning. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see if there's any other questions. questions. Are there any other kits coming out? Like a toothpick <laughs> making no, kit. That'd be Modern awesome. wood tools. <laughs> <laughs> a toothpick jig would be kind of interesting. Yeah. It'd would, probably be real small. Yeah. yeah. Word it, the blanks would be like tiny. tiny but yeah. I guess we could make something like that. Well, so. I mean, not only do we do have the chopstick makers, yeah. you know what I mean? We've made chopsticks before. Sure. We make, we're making pencils, pencils now. A toothpick. Maybe <laughs> a toothpick maker next. Who knows? That'd be funny. If you do want to see a toothpick maker, definitely drop that in the comment. Let's, uh, <laughs> let us know. If, if John sees those comments, maybe John he will might, make us a just might, no pencil jig. A pencil maker. Yeah. So, uh, hey, we'll see. Um, let's see if there's any other question. Uh, ooh, there's a good one. Uh, this came in before the stream from... Uh, El Guapo, El Guapo Danny. Danny. Okay. El Guapo Danny. <laughs> um, are there any plans in the future to make new or more accessories for the pencil precision makers, such as different dyes, shapes, I would assume, yeah. colors of the lead, ferrules, etc.? Um, El Guapo Danny, that is a very that, good question, uh, by the way. Yeah. Um, um. We actually did make different ferrules at one point. We, we had stopped because this was part of, like I mentioned, John made this or kind of announced this at the beginning before we even you know acquired bridge city yeah so actually i think i have it set aside somewhere but it might not we might have cleaned it or set aside but the right. ferrules if you look at the ferrules which is the ends of the where you install the eraser or the end of the pencil okay these are in orange so at one point we did make different colors of these so uh i think we had like purple ones we had green ones we had okay. black uh, ferrules um, and that was the way you could customize them. Again, yeah. we stopped that because we offer only one, art, you know, the Bridge City color, which is orange. Right. Um, so, we, if you guys do want to see different colors or different accessories or different like profiles, yeah, and shapes, yeah. drop them yeah, in the again, comments or something. Like yeah. I mentioned, yeah, hey. let us know well, in the comments. And if you, we're here we, to please the people, man, yeah, let us know what y'all want. <laughs> if, you, if we get enough people wanting this, we can definitely bring them back. Yeah, so, that'd be cool. Yeah, uh, I could see a you know blue pharaoh with like a red lid yeah, or something. Yeah, that would be Purple really cool. Purple eraser or something. Uh, yeah, that'd be pretty that'd dope. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's kind of show you at this point. Let's yeah. set all this aside. Yeah. So yeah, back to our. So we got pencil. this. Yeah, our pencil here. Perfect We're almost pencil. done. We're almost done. All right. Um, we need to install the ferrule, and we need to install the eraser. eraser. So using this, this block here. Okay. You see this? This right here. This is a scoring knife. So what you do is you take the pencil. Okay. And I'm gonna pick one side. I'll put it into the hole. I'll find the one that's correct. In this case, it's this one. All right. I'll press down on the, the scoring blade or the knife and hold it in place while I rotate the pencil to cut basically a line on the end. Okay. And that's a scoring line. Why do you have to score a line is the next part is I'm going to try to cut and remove some materials at the end to allow me to install the ferrule. To put the ferrule on mm -hmm. top. Gotcha. So if I didn't score the line, it, the cut will damage the grain pattern and it could tear okay. the way you saw earlier. You're right. tearing the material. So the, the line is pretty much to prevent it from tearing. Where it's going to stop mm -hmm. at. You got you. So I'll, again, going to this side, you'll install the pencil into the smaller hole in this case and push the pencil up where you cut like so. And you'll remove a little bit of material like so. Okay. Rotate it. Push again, and you'll cut, remove a little more material, and see how the scoring line gives you that clean yep. cut. Yeah, so you can remove, and I can do it like that. Gives you like a border mm -hmm. on where you need to stop. So you'll just it'll be a stopping point basically yeah. for the piece of wood, and I'll get that out of the way. And if we did this all the way around, it will cut. Nice. And if you look at it, you see how it's starting to kind yeah. of cut away the material to allow you to fit the ferrule. 
And okay. remember, uh, I think in our previous streams, we were talking about the HP 10. So if you guys haven't seen our previous streams, definitely yeah. go take a look on our YouTube channel. Uh, we were talking about a HP 10, which is our shoulder plane, one yeah. of our newest tools. Right. Um, and we explained what a tenon was. Ah. Yeah. yeah. So a tenon is allowing basically a piece that will mate with a hole, a mortise in some cases yeah. is what it's called. And you'll cut a tenon to install into a hole, which is a mortise. So a Connected. tenon and a mortise. Mm -hmm. gotcha. In this case, we're doing a pencil to a ferrule. Yeah. So if you open this jig, or open this box up. So it's like the pencil will be my tenon my and tenon. the ferrule will be my mortise. Exactly. Ah, yep. Gotcha. Exactly. Makes so sense. grab one of the ferrules out. And do be careful. There is a bigger uh, hole and a smaller size hole. Okay. The bigger size w size won't fit or won't hold this. So if I put it in like so, it'll fall it'll right fall out. Right off. So that's the wrong side. That's going to be holding the eraser. Gotcha. The other side, if I start putting it in, it's going to be nice and snug or a little difficult to do it. Yeah. So I'll just kind of line it up like so. And let me clean this real quick. Just make sure I have a nice clean edge there. Okay. I'll push, put my ferrule in just a little bit like that, but I can't really push it in because it's going to, it's kind of hard to do so. Yeah. If I flip this over, you see that little channel there and there's a hole? I see that, yeah. Yeah. You put your pencil ferrule in there. Wow, so that like one that. piece is used for like three or four different things. Three or four different things, yeah. yes. Yeah. So at that point, I can use this as basically, I'll hold my finger there, and this is a, a basically a hammer for uh, me to, yeah, to install nice. my ferrule, just like so. I see the pencil yeah, coming together. Yeah, the pencil's I coming along. <laughs> yeah. So once you do that, grab an eraser and install the eraser, just like so. Okay. And look at that. Uh, we got ourselves voila. a pencil. The perfect pencil. Yeah. <laughs> and from there, last but not least, is sharpening it. Uh, so the golden sharpener. Yeah. This uh -huh. sharpener here. I'll allow you to do yeah. the sharpening process. Of course, of course. While he's doing that, I will uh, do mm. a quick announcement. Um, uh, if anyone has, you know, again, if anyone's interested in picking up one of these pencil precision, we are offering a promo just for today until midnight. Uh, the code will be pencil precision. Uh, we'll drop it in the chat along with a link to get to our store. BridgeCityTools.com is our uh, channel or our webpage. Go on there if you are interested in picking one of these up. It is a very fun kit, as you it see. It is. Uh, I'm having tons of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Um, if you guys do pick up one of these, or if you already have a pencil precision uh, kit, make a pencil. Show us what you can do and customize your pencil. Paint it. You know, show us. You know, if you're using this with your kids, you know, show yeah. us like what you guys make. Um, share it to us uh, on our Instagram or Facebook. Tag us. Uh, tag and share it to us. Harvey Industries INTL is our uh, our tag on Instagram, or if you go on Harvey on our Facebook, it's Harvey Industries International. Um, INTL might be shorthand is what it will be. Um, tag and share those to us and we will definitely take a look at all the, you know, all the photos and all the, the everything, everything that yeah. people share to us. And we'll probably pick a, you know, some of the coolest uh, things that we like. Yeah. And we might feature it on the next stream and maybe possibly a gift or something. Uh, I think a gift sounds cool. A gift cool. sounds kind of yeah. good, yeah. Come on. That, yeah. That sounds so dope. Stay tuned. Definitely check out our stream. Um, send yeah. in those photos. Send in and make sure you tag us on Instagram or Facebook, whichever one you may share it to. Um, and if we take a look, we got All right, ourselves. so look, I didn't even know that it was color lead in there, so I start to see the yellow. Man, that, that's like dope. Isn't that, that so is, cool? Yeah. Really dope. So mm -hmm. we got a yellow pencil here. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's awesome, man. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, this jig, so grab me that other one because I will need to show you something. If before we install, or at the point where we made the, the profile, yeah. before we install the ferrule and before we sharpen the pencil, the other thing you could do, and again, for the people out there who want to customize their pencils, you see those two ar orange pieces right here? Yeah. Ah, these are yeah. arms to allow you to hold your pencil in place. Oh, let me grab another one because that one was not done correctly. But if you push this up like so, you can hold your pencil in place. And let me put this jig down because it'll make it a lot easier. But it'll allow you to hold your pencil just like so. And this is a pencil holder to allow you to yeah. paint and allow it to dry yeah. 
and that's, that's one way cool. to customize it. Even so, decorate yeah, it. Decorate yeah. it. Yeah. That's, that's so nice. using a paintbrush or like a paint marker, yeah. go through and you can paint these pencils before you shape or you know after you shape after them. You shape yeah. Them. So in this case, I would have you know gotten to the bead, I push it through the dies, have that piece yeah. before I install the ferrules and before I sharpen it, I yeah. can chalk it like install it on here, paint them, and design it how and, you want, right? And exactly. Yeah, that's and that's cool. how you customize. So nice. again. Let us know. If you guys are interested or want yeah. to share those to us, we'll pick out a winner and there might be a gift of some yeah, sort. So I'd say the gifts sound good, Yeah, stay tuned. Good, yeah, man. Stay tuned. People stay love tuned. gifts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know we are coming close to the end of our stream, so let's yeah. take a couple questions. And awesome. um, Oh, the other thing we want to uh, make an announcement. So uh, starting next week, uh, we will not be doing our stream at noon. We will push our stream to 3, well, 3 p.m. Pacific. Oh, nice. So just you know to let then, everyone get a little yeah, more chance to you know yeah. watch our stream. At noon time's a little, a little you know early. a little early yeah. um, for some people, and so just we're to, gonna push it back. Just depending to, on yeah, where you are, push you back know? 3 p.m. Give us you know a little more time to set up and show yeah. you all these cool things. We, so. we want everybody to tune in with us live. You know, not just catch the. <laughs> The review, yeah, we want you to catch us live in action. Catch us man. live in action, you know? <laughs> so uh, 3 p.m. Pacific or 6 p.m. Eastern, whichever side you may be on yeah. the, in the States. Uh, um, yeah, so, tune yeah. in with us. Uh, tune in, yeah. So let's take a couple more questions before question. we end our stream. Uh, this one was a question from earlier. Uh, before we our stream, we asked the, you know people to submit their questions. This came in from Blackwood Woodworks. Blackwood Woodworks. Okay, the question says, why do I want to build my own pencil as opposed to buying a pencil from a store? Um, are there any other products like this on the market and what makes the PP1 pencil precision so unique? Hmm. Um, that's a very good question. It is. Um, I, realistically, I could go out to a store and buy pencils yeah. anywhere I want. You know, pencils are cheap. You yeah. know they 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 sell by the plenty. You know, yeah. but what's the fun of you know doing that if you can I mean, actually create this, your own pencil, right? right? Like yeah, yeah. This Isn't is that, me, like I will be using this forever now. Like what? Exactly. <laughs> this is my this is pencil something, that I made. That is like, something you or made, made or we made. Yeah, <laughs> and it's the fun of it, and that's yeah. kind of why we designed the PP one pencil precision yeah. is because we wanted a fun hobby or a fun yeah. tool. To allow people to make pencils. Yeah. In this case, you can introduce this to your kids. Let's say, yeah, most definitely, and or buy it as a gift, or make pencils as a gift yeah, for, for other sure. people. And that's the fun of this jig, yeah. as well as like our chopstick jig, our, our chopstick master. Yeah, um, it's not the you know going out. I, I can buy a chopstick. I can buy a pencil anytime I want. Uh -huh. But it's the fun of making it yeah. with another person yeah. or sharing the. The love and passion yeah, of woodworking. The bonding of it. Yeah. yeah. And like for someone who you know doesn't have any woodworking experience, this could be a, a entryway or a beginner's way to make something. Uh, yeah, man. I'm like just with this small thing. I'm like my mind is ready for like the next step. Yeah. Of whatever. And we can maybe make. next time, yeah. like you know, we can feature like the chopstick master and make some chopsticks next time. If you know, if anyone wants to see the chopstick master, yeah. you know, definitely again, let us know in the comments or let us know and maybe we'll feature it on yeah. our later stream. So. And you don't have to worry about the long lines at the store. Uh, yeah, you, got it right here you can make home. one right on the spot. It'll take a couple minutes and you can have a pencil <laughs> ready. Like you saw, we can make different leads, different yeah. colors, That's and awesome, there's man. a lot of customization that you could do. Yeah. Like you can do the different shapes, you can initial it, you can yeah. paint them, and that's where the fun, you know, yeah. is in it's making this. Nothing like so, having something that's yours. Yeah, yeah exactly. Instead of buying somebody yeah. else's, it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> um, a question from DRAM, can you make a square pencil for carpentry? Um, you, hmm. I, that's a very good question. It wouldn't be pencil? a square, mm -hmm. like if you look at a carpenter pencil, it's like more of a rectangular, um, like let's say if you go to like Home Depot or you go to like Lowe's, the yeah. hardware store, you'll see these rectangular pencils okay. or like kind of squarish shaped pencils. Yeah. Those are usually called carpenter pencils. Mm -hmm. um, you realistically could cut the, before you make it into a hexagon, if you just glue it up as is, meaning cut oh, out the- Oh, after you hit the first groove mm -hmm. on If the, you made the, the grooves on the blank and you yeah. glue it up, you could realistically make a hexagon shaped pencil. Like, yeah. it, see how I cut the groove there? Yeah. I could glue these up and could get a square pencil. Yeah. The lead itself is a little smaller than what a carpenter pencil is, by the way. Um, this lead, it's specifically is a two millimeter. So this is like your uh, 
uh, like your number two pencil. Right. Back in school, if you ever know, if you ever you know pick yeah. up a pencil, everyone's going like, oh yeah, buy the number, number two, two pencil. Yeah. That's what <laughs> a, this lead is specifically. Ah. Um, so carpenter pencils, the lead is a little thicker. A little thicker. Yeah. So that's okay. something to consider. You could. If you you know didn't profile it down to a hexagon and made it into in this case a yeah. beaded shape, leave it square. Yeah. Then you also need like different lead as well. Yeah, yeah. and at, you know from there, with carpenter pencils, you would have to sharpen it with a knife yeah. or have a specialty sharpener for That'll that kind it. of profile. So gotcha. something to you know t consider. Um, again, this jig is to make very unique pencils, yeah. you know, like what you see here. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, again, we are winding down to the end of our stream. Uh, right. Again, I thank you everyone for yeah, you know, tuning man. into our stream. Guys, Aaron, awesome. Uh, did you have fun? Uh, I did, man. Yeah. I said I'm ready for what's next. I'm already excited for next Thursday. <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> uh, again, to summarize, this is a the pencil precision. Pencil we kind of went through, you know, showing how to set it up from beginning, um, to, from beginning to end. Yeah. Um, once we're done, if we do store these away, something to remember is these are the irons okay. and the dies are made of metal that can rust by the way yeah. so they will corrode or rust over time so if you are you know putting these away make sure you clean them carefully uh use like a little bit of oil or wd-40 would be yeah. something good wipe them down with a rag or a towel and yeah. set them aside set them away um if you do store it over long periods make sure these are oiled so that you know oil and fingerprints and dust yeah, doesn't don't rust it out. make it rust yes gotcha. everything else you know just wipe it down use like air or something to blow it off Get the and shavings get out all of the there, shavings out of the way and dust, yeah, yeah store it away in the box that you saw earlier yeah and you're good to go so um again thank you very much again for everyone to yeah. tuning into the stream right, and home, um, thank you man. yeah, yeah well, tell me you. how to make a pencil uh, well man. thank you for being here and <laughs> i hope that was informative um, it was showed you how to make a pencil very very um for everyone who is again watching our stream and do pick up one of these pencil precisions uh we are again in later streams we will do a promo where we're giving away something so send your photos of your creations your pencils yeah and tag us in. on social media facebook or instagram uh harvey industries I am is our tag i'm looking forward to it <laughs> send us our your pics and we'll choose in the later stream and announce you know the winners and they'll get some sort of prize oh uh, hopefully a gift so stay hopefully tuned hopefully yeah definitely gift. check out our stream <laughs> um if you do want to pick up these these pencil precisions today we are running a promo and it's only for today uh pencil precision is the code that you'll use for checkout it will be a hundred dollars off uh we'll throw that link and the code into the stream so that you can you know grab one of these yeah and, man and you, you guys gotta get one uh if, if it looked like i had fun i did so <laughs> i'm pretty sure you guys will as well so yeah yeah uh, go ahead grab one man definitely <laughs> grab one yep and again, thank you, Aaron, for no, thank you know, you, being huh? here. I feel like a, um, a woodworker now. <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. That's a, your start of woodworking. Yeah. You made yourself a pencil made for a pencil. today. Um, again, thank you, everyone, for your support yeah. and for tuning into the stream. Uh, join us next week. We will not be streaming at noon, by the way. It will be 3 p.m. Pacific, so 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, again, if you haven't done so, go to our YouTube channel, Harvey Industries INTL. Uh, or Harvey, Indus Harvey Industries International, if you go and look for us. Subscribe, uh, hit that like button, yeah. and hit the bell for the notification so that you know that we yeah. will be, you know. So every Thursday, they'll pop Thursday. up for yeah. you. <laughs> and again, my name is Hung. This is and Aaron. And I'm Aaron. Thank you very much for tuning in, and yeah. I will see you on the next one. All right, take it easy. Have, <laughs> see you, everyone. <laughs>